Guys, Ubisoft responds to report Prince of Persia. The Lost Crown development team disbanded. We know players have a lot of love for this brand. And after this, after this article, oh, we have a nice, good all answer to that from the people inside themselves. So here we go. Ubisoft has responded to a report published yesterday. Yesterday. What the f Okay. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. It's Friday. So come on. Okay. Come on. Ubisoft has responded to a report published yesterday that claimed Prince of Persia The Lost Crown's team has been disbanded. In a statement to Eurogamer, the Assassin's Creed publisher largely confirmed what had been reported, though made clear that the game's team were still present and busy at development studio Ubisoft Montpellier. Now, on other projects that will benefit from their expertise. And yesterday's report by Origami was not fully clear on the status of the team behind the Lost Crown, which received a positive critical response upon its launch this year, though failed to set tills ringing. Guys, <laughs> Ubisoft is setting too high standard for themselves. Lost Crown is a good game. It is. Story is, mm, but gameplay wise, it's good. And all talk of a sequel just, no, no, we'll not have it. The report also suggested The Lost Crown would not receive a sequel as a result of its commercial performance. Something Ubisoft does not contradict today. With ideas for a follow-up reported merged into plans for the game's DLC. I'm extremely proud of our team's work and passion at Ubisoft Montpellier to create a game that resonated with players and critics alike. And I am confident in its long-term success. And that was Lost Crown senior producer. Prince of Persia The Lost Crown is now at the end of its post-launch roadmap with three free content updates and one DLC that released in September. We are now focusing on making the game available to more players. It was recently launched on Steam and will be available on Mac by this winter. Most of the team members who worked on Prince of Persia The Lost Crown have shifted to other projects that will benefit from their expertise. We know players have love for this brand and Ubisoft is excited to bring more Prince of Persia experiences in the future. Um, a sequel to Sense of Time would be great, but no, we're getting a remake. Yeah. And one of these is, of course, Ubisoft's long-awaited Prince of Persia Sense of Time remake, which currently sits with a 2026 release window. Yeah, six years after it was revealed. Guys, six goddamn years. That's just maddening. Six! It is unclear which projects at Ubisoft Multiplayer the team behind the Lost Crown have joined, though the studio is still tiling on Ubisoft's even longer way to Beyond Good and Evil 2. So it's not looking good. Ubisoft is making the wrong choices in my opinion, but here's more answers. Prince of Persia devs moved to three new projects at Ubisoft. Yesterday, a new rumor revealed that Ubisoft had disbanded its Prince of Persia The Lost Crown team after the game failed to meet internal expectations. It was somewhat of a murky picture as to what actually happened, but Ubisoft has since clarified in a statement confirming some of the details. In a statement to Eurogamer, which we just read, the publisher said that the Prince of Persia The Lost Crown team has moved on to other projects that will benefit from their expertise and that Ubisoft is focused on making the game available to more players. But Insider Gaming understands that the decision to move on from Prince of Persia The Lost Crown and uh, any potential sequel was made around May of this year and was due to the game missing internal expectations. They said in a buy too high for themselves. Sources say that Ubisoft was expecting The Lost Crown to sell similar to the biggest Metro... Metroidvanias in the market, with millions of units sold in a relatively short space of time. Prince of Persia The Lost Crown has sold approximately 1 million units at the time of writing. That is not much. So they expected it to sell millions of units in a short space of time. Ubisoft, come on. As for which projects Prince of Persia The Lost Crown developers have joined, it's understood that the majority have since moved into three different projects. 
Most of the team has joined the development of Beyond Good and Evil 2, which was revived internally in 2017. Around a dozen employees have moved to Project OVR, the next mainline Ghost Recon game. So over, basically over. Okay. Around a dozen have also moved on to Project Steambot, a Rayman remake in development at Ubisoft Milan. The remake... Yeah, I, I know some of these people will do a great job. Beyond Good and Evil 2 is a project still a few years away with developers across the entire publisher confused as to why Ubisoft continues to invest tens of millions a year in development, which it's never likely to get back. Project Steambot has also proved somewhat unpopular internally as original creator Michael and Cell looms over the project as consultant. And Steambot was Rayman Remake. Yeah, why the hell did they make a remake? Why not just make another game? Rayman is popular. What What the hell? Developers tell me that Prince of Persia The Lost Crown was perfect project. It was first pitched in June 2020 and saw a relatively straightforward development pipeline. Lux <laughs> yeah, a luxury that most development teams at Ubisoft don't have. Yet still, Ubisoft's... Ridic ridiculously high internal expectations for such a project have once again prevented developers from exploring creative ideas. Wow. I, I hate when it's like this, guys. It's not good. It is not looking good. They're making the wrong decisions. They need... Uh, 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 they need new leadership. They do. Need a little mix-up in there. But other developers have spoken about this. And one of them is Baldur's Gate 3 Exec. So that's the people behind Baldur's Gate. And they say that Ubisoft management is to blame for the failure of Prince of Persia. Those looking for a reason as to why Prince of Persia lost crown so below expectations, thus leading to sequel being rejected, need to look to the top of Ubisoft. That's what Michael Deuce, director of publishing at Baldur's Gate 3 developer Larian Studios, had to say about the situation. In a social media post, Deuce, or Deuce, pointed the fingers at Ubisoft management, saying that the decision to not release the game on Steam Day 1 hurt any chance of the game's success. The last notable game on their platform was arguably Far Cry 6 in 2021. <laughs> <laughs> uh, damn. The crew, Mirage and Avatar came in 2023 and didn't perform. So you can assume subscriptions were at lull when uh, Prince of Persia released by 2024. Which means people wouldn't be launching the store all too much. No wonder. I, I never have it open. If it had released on Steam, not only would it have been a market success, but there would likely be a sequel because the team are so strong. He then went on. <laughs> he then went on to call out the game's critical success across the board. It's such a broken strategy, he said. The hardest thing is to make an 85 plus game. It is much, much easier to release one. It shouldn't be done as it was. Hey. I heard double use all the way. Prince of Persia the Lost Crown has sold around 1 million copies since its launch. And that was Feb. No, that was December last year. So a year. Far below what the internal expectations were for the game. Insider Gaming learned that Ubisoft was expecting the game to sell on par or better than some of the biggest Metroidvanias in the market. When that didn't happen right away, a decision was made to move on from the project. Isn't that just what the f Huh? I, that is... <laughs> but 1 million in a year doesn't sound much. But still, hey, it's for special market. And you can't really compare it to uh, one of the biggest franchises in Metrovania's genre platform or whatever you say i mean come on they went back to the og prince of persia which is good but we all want one more game or more games in the sense of time games definitely i don't want a remake they do not remake i just want a continuation of uh, the third one which was 
that trilogy was hell of a good was really good but then you see they just mess it up so yeah the game was a su success ubisoft don't agree so we won't get a sequel